Hi, welcome to People Tools Tech Tips. I'm Randy Grocky. Today we're going to be talking about creating BI Publisher documents with People Code. And today's a little bit different. We're not going to be doing an online demo. We're just going to be pointing you to resources and how to guides so you can walk through it yourself. Hi, a couple of years ago we created a class for Collaborate and Reconnect to show how to create BI Publisher documents using People Code. Now, one of the things we really wanted to do with that was to show how to use XML file as a data source and not use PS Query. Why? I hate PS Query for a data source for BI Publisher. It has a couple problems. One, it's an insecure data source. You have to make it public, and then every one of your user that has access to those tables, who was also a query editor, can go and mess up your data source. Two, any other developer can see your data source and say, that's something that they may want to use for theirs, but tweak it once or twice. But bottom line, either way, just broke your report. It's also inefficient. Um, People Books says if you have a larger report, you really should be using an XML file. And then also, you have to eat the entire elephant in one bite. It's big. You have to put the data in there. It's slow. It's inefficient. It's bad on the database. And it creates those huge, massive data sets that are just unnecessary. So bottom line is it's lazy for you as a developer to use PS Query as a data source for BI Publisher. Okay, let's use some XML files. So what are we going to do? We, that class showed you how to make an XML file using the row set method, using a file layout, using an XML doc. We even showed you how to brute force it and just use it as text string. We don't recommend that. So then we went in and showed you how to actually put the people code in there that instantiated the BI publisher object, called up the report, handed the, created the XML file, handed it over to the BI pub object, created the report, then popped it out to the screen. It's all in there. And then we went on to show you some other things such as PDF merge. And what, what is PDF merge? Is where you're taking two different PDF reports and putting them together. Where would you use that? A lot, a lot of government documents where you have two or three page reports where the first page is a summary report and the second page is a detail, sort of an employee moving report where your first page is the employee, where who he is, where he's moving to, and the second page is that employee's family that only can handle four dependents. Well, if they have more than the four dependents, you need multiple pages to keep on going and going and going. Well, we create those in two different reports. The first page is one report. The second page is another report. We'll create two different XML files, two different reports, and then PDF merge them together. We also showed you how to do um, watermarks and also um, page numbering on those because especially if you're merging um, two reports together, you do not want to put page numbers on those because you don't know the offsets of the different pages at design time. You do know at, at, at actual when you're putting them together and PDF um, merge can do that. These are delivered PeopleSoft um, functionality inside of the people tools. So um, peopletoolstechtips.com, go look for the create BI publisher uh, documents with people code and all of that is in there in you. Now we created that class. That class was like an hour long and that is just way too long to show you right here. And we were moving quick to get that all in an hour. So what we're going to do is we're going to take many of those concepts and make smaller videos focus to one area, like we're going to make one video on creating an XML file using the row set method, another one using the file layout method, another one using the XML doc method, okay? Then we're going to make a different um, video showing you how to put it all together inside that um, people code and call it from a push button. And we are going to have a separate video on PDF merge and line numbers and a watermark. I'm not sure if all that will be one video or two or more videos, depending on how how long they go. Um, we don't want it to, the ideas to be spread out and too random. We want something that you can consume and use readily. So inside that website, peopletoolstechops.com, there's a PDF 
that has the details and all the code listed there of how to do this. What we also have is a People Tools project that's 856 that you can upload into your demo environment or your PUM or your personal thing. And you can add these and, and see the code work and just copy and paste the code into your own stuff. So we're hoping this helps. Please stay tuned for those other smaller videos that make up all the little pieces. But until then, we wanted to put out the code and the ideas so you can get started right away. Thank you. Please, as always, comment, like, please consider subscribing so when we come out with those other videos, you can be notified um, when they are available. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.